Hey guys, how's it going? Ryan here. Today, this is just going to be a really quick and simple tutorial showing you how to reverse an audio file. And in addition to that, I'm going to be sharing with you some information which I think is important to know if you've never actually reversed an audio file before. So let's get started. Okay, so here is my audio clip. Uh, you guys can go ahead and record some audio yourself or you can go ahead and import an audio file. Either way is fine. Let's go ahead and play this and see what it sounds like. <clears throat> okay, so pretty straightforward. Now we want to go ahead and reverse this audio file. And the easiest way to do that is to click on the clip. You can press W on your keyboard. That will bring open the audio file editor. Or alternatively, you can just simply double click. And that will do the same thing. So now once this is here, you want to click on functions, go down to reverse, and there you go. You've successfully reversed your audio file. Let's go back and have a listen. Cool. So now if you change your mind, you can of course go back to reverse and that will change it back to the original. Okay, so pretty simple, right? Now just note that there is some fine print, just some little fine print in here, and it's not all puppy dogs and rainbows, okay? Or kittens, if you like kittens. Uh, so what I mean by that is that you have to be careful about what clips you are reversing. So let's take a closer look. So let's say that we have, instead of one clip, we have multiple clips. Okay, so you've duplicated this, they're going to appear at uh, different parts of your song. Let's say we only want to reverse uh, one of the clips. Well, let's go ahead and try to reverse one and see what happens. So again, we're going to click in here, go to functions, go to reverse. Oh, but gee golly gosh, uh, what happened here? It looks like you've accidentally reversed all three of your clips. Well, let me explain why this happened. So when you duplicate an audio file, they are still looking at the same source file, which means if you try to reverse one, the same effect is going to be applied to the other. So let's just put this back normally first. So how we can avoid this is before you go ahead and try to reverse one, you have to convert the file in which you want to reverse to a different file or to a new audio file. And that's very simple to do. You just want to click on the clip, right click and go to convert to new audio file. If you don't see it up here, uh, you'll find it down here under convert and then convert to new audio file. It'll ask you to save it. So go ahead, give it a unique name or just leave it as it is. Hit save. And there you go, it's now a new audio file. So now this time, if we go and try to reverse it, the effect will of course only happen to that one clip because it is now a different audio file. Whereas these two are just, uh, or at least one is just a duplicate, but they share the same source. Okay, makes sense. So if you're trying to go and be creative and do a lot of these fancy like sweeping reversed vocal effects or things, just be mindful that you should be converting uh, to new audio files uh, so you don't run into issues like having multiple clips be reversed. Okay, so that's uh, sort of one part out of the way. Now, if you're not working with a regular audio file, let's say you're working with an Apple loop, okay? Sometimes it's just a lot of, it's just easier to work with. So let's go ahead and try that. Here's our Apple loop. Let's just go ahead and play it. All sugar, sugar, all right. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the first part. We're gonna duplicate that. Let's go ahead and try to reverse this uh, one clip here. Now, you'll notice, obviously, that a lot of the functions here are actually grayed out. It won't actually let you reverse it. <clears throat> and that is because you're working with an Apple loop. Like before, you have to first convert this to a new file. So let's go ahead and do that. So right click, convert to new audio file. And again, you can save it as something unique or leave it as it is. Uh, one sort of quick thing, take a look at the file format, core audio format. You don't want this one. Um, I don't think it'll let you do a wave because it's an Apple loop, so you want to change it to AIFF. Go ahead and save it. It's now converted. Now let's try going into the audio file editor functions, and there you go. So everything is now back here. You're free to reverse as you wish. Let's go ahead and put these together and, of course, play them. 
All right. <laughs> Never gets old. Cool. So now the last part here. What if you don't have an audio file? What if you've written the most beautiful, somber, uh, I don't know, you've written something amazing, okay? So here I've got some piano, but it's MIDI, okay? So we just simply have to convert the MIDI to audio, okay? So let's just go ahead and play this, and we'll just have a quick listen. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, convert this to, or rather bounce it in place, which will convert it to a new audio file. So again, you wanna right click, choose bounce in place. And once again, if you don't see it up here, just scroll down, bounce and join, and there it is, bounce in place. It's gonna ask you to name it. If you have effects on this, you can uh, choose to bypass them, you can choose to keep them, you can, uh, yeah. So just choose your options and when you're happy, just click okay. Sorry, I sort of cut my voice off there. So just click okay. And there you go, it's gonna render that out as audio. And there you go, MIDI now converted into an audio file. So just like before, we can go ahead and reverse this and if you wish, uh, let's just go ahead. I'm just gonna sort of clear up the tail here, add a little fade. Let's duplicate this. And now we want to reverse this one so that it sort of fades back into itself, just as an idea. And of course, just as before, right click, convert to new audio file so we don't reverse the two of them. Uh, just go ahead and click save, double click functions and reverse <clears throat> and there you have it so let's kind of get a little uh, I guess a little crossfade action going here and we'll play this and we'll just see what it sounds like Beautiful. Uh, you may have noticed a little blip here. I didn't really do the, do the crossfade right, um, but you can just sort of play around with that to where it will actually crossfade smoothly. Uh, yeah, so there you go. There is um, a bunch of information on reversing audio, uh, converting MIDI, converting audio files, and uh, try to make it as quick and concise as possible. So I hope you guys have learned something here. If you enjoyed the video, let me know. I always love hearing your feedback and your thoughts. I'm always trying to improve. It has been a while since I put out my last tutorial, but I'm hoping to get back into this uh, regularly again because it's a lot of fun and I just love to teach and I love to share knowledge. So again, guys, thank you a lot for watching. Uh, I think the next tutorial that I put out will kind of be a follow-up to this one. Uh, and I think what I'd like to do is to talk about uh, just adding um, I guess effects to these and how you can use reversed audio creatively and musically in your tracks. So stay tuned for that guys. Once again, thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.